I'm Lori Perry Crumrine and I am one of two assistant directors here. And I'm Karen Calling, and I'm the director of Mission Arvada, which is the ministry out of the Rising Church. Um, we've been operating as a day shelter for five years now. We have emerged into what we call a navigation center now. So we are a day shelter and navigation center. So what that means is that we not only have the basic needs that we, that we meet um, with clients, with feeding them two meals a day, um, but also you know, showers for hygiene and clothing bank, providing that, those kinds of items. Um, but we also have um, laundry services now as well. And we have um, all kinds of services in place to help navigate clients to become more stable and to move beyond their circumstances. So some of the, um, the navigation services that we have in-house right here in our church are medical clinic every, every week. Um, we have dental services twice a month. We have um, mental health services daily through a Jefferson Center for Mental Health kiosk. We have um, Benefits in Action comes in and gets our clients on Medicaid and food stamps twice a month. We have um, the DMV comes to us now. That was the most recent addition, and they get clients their identification, uh, which they all need for various reasons. Um, and that can be a huge barrier, so that was a major breakthrough. We have uh, haircuts. We have, what am I missing? Um, we have a housing navigator that works with clients one-on-one -on -one to get them into housing filling out paperwork, getting documents. Um, many come that don't have their birth certificate, for example, and she'll work with them to get their birth certificate here so they can go to DMV and, and get that and, and move on. Um, we have free legal services for clients that are dealing with court or probation, those kinds of things, tickets. We've actually gotten 110 people into permanent housing in the last two and a half years off the streets chronically homeless people. But we also collect items from the community, furniture and household items, and we physically move clients into their apartments um, so that they don't just go in with a backpack on their back. During the, as, as the weather gets colder in the fall and into the winter and spring, um, our needs get a little different in terms of the kinds of donations that we need here. So we, you know, during the summer and stuff, we just need layers and those, you know, regular clothes and stuff like that. But in the winter, we need coats and we need blankets and we need sleeping bags and we need gloves and we need hats. Um, and hand warmers are great. So we are, always are in need of churches such as yourself to do drives for, for us to have, you know, more items coming in um, to, that we can disperse for our clients during the winter months. And I think anything for winter, even if there's a decent pair of boots that yep. people are getting rid of, um, many of them right now are just in sandals or flip-flops, and that's all they have. That's the only shoe they have. The other thing that we need all the time is backpacks and, and um, well, really blankets and sleeping bags and backpacks and um, suitcases with rollers, because that's how they can carry their belongings around. And, So on average, we are having about anywhere between 55 and 70 people check in daily for day shelter services. And those people are accessing an array of our services that I've already spoken about. Um, so any given month, I have anywhere from 250 to 350 active, unique individual clients that comes in and uses Mission Arvada services. And I think it's important to note that on the average, um, I would say we probably get three to five new clients per day that we're um, orienting and, and pulling them into to our program. We're making a huge difference in people's lives. Um, they, most people come to us scared and broken and afraid and we actually kind of become their family. It's incredible the kind of work that goes on here every day and it's all through people coming in, us forming a relationship with them, being able to pray with them being able to talk with them and, and really recognize them as they are people first. Um, they're people that are struggling, but they're people first. Here I go. <laughs> um, and they deserve our attention. You know, they say we changed their lives. I know for me, they've definitely changed mine.
if you have a heart for homeless or, or serving people directly um, in this in the ministry that we're doing um, we have an array of volunteer positions <laughs> that um, we constantly need support with